much better. Hello boys, Cool Yoshi here, and welcome back to my Super Mario Party blind playthrough. 100%, yes, it's me, Cool Yoshi. And the last time we played, we finished Watermelon Walkabout. We had to actually redo it off screen. Uh, I, if anybody watches, uh, I think it was part 18 it was, which is the second half of this board. You'll see that we actually ended up losing the board, but on a second try I was able to get a pretty dominating win. So now, t tantalizing Tower Toys. Let's hope we can split up a little bit more. I understand that you'll want to stay together a lot, but this time more than ever I feel like me and my ally Mario should split up. Gleaming boy, where everything goes, your teamwork will be put to the test, and apparently I didn't notice, but you can do 30 turns on this. Can you do this on other ones? That's really weird. Okay. I never know you could do that. That must be new. Okay. Well, since... Well, I mentioned I would do whatever... Uh, however long the final board can go, so I'm going to be going for 30 turns on this. I'm not sure if this is about... A player's first time doing this but it definitely seems like not many people have done this so I figured I would do it because my main plan with this was to try to play on the boards for as long as possible just in case anybody has not done that so we are on the final board of the game connects tantalizing tower or as it's called Connects tantalizing toys with insane RNG. And we need to get capsule tickets to play this board, apparently. There's a top prize you can get, which is two stars. The item shop there looks sadie. If you buy an item from them, they'll throw in a capsule ticket, so that's where we go there. Anyone that wants to come this way will need to give me coins. Nobody can pass without playing more coins than the last person you let through, though. So, it's pretty obvious what's going to happen here. Mario's gonna go to the... Stay on, like, the leftward side or whatever he decides to do, and I will go for... The right side. Wow, they actually got the best roll possible. 12. If I'm mistaken, that's one of the rarest rolls you can get, at least during that. It's uh, either that or the 1-1, one, one, which results in 2. When I saw the 6, I thought it was going to be good, but nope. <laughs> to be fair, that's kind of a balance that ne is needed. So, I'm going to obviously keep the full board in because I don't think anybody's going to who have ever done uh, Kamex Tantalizing Tower or Kamex Tantalizing Toys or whatever it is with 30 turns. I don't think this is even possible in the original game because when I checked <laughs> on the second board I was not able to go to it so I might have actually missed it. Well just in case I missed it uh, we're going to be doing that. So I'm guessing the best way of doing this is to just do 10 turns every board to balance it out. So there's a lot of stuff going on here. Already I already even before the game begins, I have a strategy potentially to go through this. I want Mario to focus on the leftward side of the board while I focus on the rightward side of the board because that allows us to get allies and coins that way. And we always start with our regular blocks first so that we can at least get a roll going because when we do dial is we're guaranteed at least. Okay. Cool, so he's doing the at strategy. I am going to be splitting off from him. I'm doing this for his own good. It's very important to split off early in the game, but I wasn't able to do that the first time, so hopefully this time I am able to do it good. Now based on the way the roll goes, 
I actually kind of want to roll a little, but not necessarily the one to six block. I think the Yoshi block will be used the next one, so I'll be using my own dice block next. Interesting, we all left the first island straight away. Yeah. You straight up were not able to go to Connect's Tantalizing Tower toys, or I think even just the Tantalizing Tower in general, uh, on 30 turns, so this actually kind of surprises me. Since this is a blind playthrough, I didn't know it could go up to 30 turns. Originally, in the original games, at least Mario Party's 1 to 8, it used to go up as high as 50 turns, which is ridiculous. The reason I said that I, I board section will be completely different from ours is I actually have a plan to do, at least in the first eight Mario parties, I have a plan to at some point make a walkthrough of me complete all of the boards on 50 turns, but I do not have a good setup for it, so it probably won't happen. Also, people have already posted walkthroughs on that, on certain boards. Okay, now while they don't really have enough coins yet, which will be good because they won't necessarily go for the star instantly, yeah, but that does mean that we are going to get a little bit chilled. Yeah. Going first is pretty important, as you might have guessed, because on the second turn right here, you can take, a, take the allies right away. Wow, they get an ally phone straight off the bat. That is so early for an ally phone. And they found a hidden block as well. Missing the star, thankfully. Seems like going to the center could potentially be very good for coins. Let's just go for the board right away. Let's see. Yeah, this is definitely a really split board. Interesting. Okay. Oh yeah, I was going for potentially getting that 5 coin. If I want to go for that, I'm going to go for this block. That's a very hard to get 5 coin, though. I might end up just ignoring it. I'll actually have to ignore it here. Okay. So we are splitting up this time. Hopefully that'll make the strategy work. Hey. Alright, good. I don't know why, but the CPU never pays the womp. It's really weird. Cool, we got the start before they were able to. Slowing them down a little bit. You want to split up early on to get a lot of coins, and then stay together to get our stuff. Like, right here, what me and Mario are doing right now is pretty much recommended. You don't want to really go for double stars early on. It's better to just get the ones you can get and just focus on coins, because... As you might have seen from before, coins are very important. If you don't get a coin, uh, it becomes very difficult. Like, see there? I don't think they can actually get to that. Wait, no. They can get to it, but they will have to pay the Womp in order to get through that. I'm still not sure if I should get that. I'm thinking the best way of going is to just... Spend the first few turns getting allies right away, because if we can get allies extremely early, it'll help us a lot. Wow, they... They got that right away. Ooh. 
This is weird. Huh. That's kind of trippy, especially when your controls aren't the best. Some of it was on me, some of it was on Mario, because I was trying to stay as straight as possible, but he wasn't uh, moving to the right spot. I still don't understand how to do that minigame perfectly. Oh well, I'll probably figure it out at some point, though. Because it's really... Yeah. Because it's really important to focus on stuff. So currently the opponent team has the advantage. They're going to get up to the top first. Potentially meaning they're going to get coins. But that could also be bad for them because they might not want to go up to the top. Now time for their free ally. Thankfully we're going to counter this because I'm going to get two allies myself. Which will help out a little bit. That's Hammerbow again. If I remember correctly, then this is the his first time returning to this game. He was first introduced in Mario Party 8, so this is his second game that Hammerbow's actually been a playable character in. He used to be in every game, but he was more of a rival than an actual character. There's still a rival in that game, but you could lock him as a playable character in Mario Party 8. Alongside Blooper, which is probably one of the most interesting characters, Pit Dead. Ooh, he's offering free coins instead of the one trying to make it expensive. That's what I thought. <clears throat> I'll let Mario go for the star. I need to get at myself some allies and items straight away. Okay, let's go for normal block. With the, a good average of a normal block, we should at least get the allies. But we're not going to, Well, Mario could get an ally still, but it depends on what he wants to do. I'm gonna go for this instead of an ally. I was going to get our coins, but I didn't roll too well. Cool. I'm not sure who should use that. Guessing going it to Mario would be the safest bet. Wow, he keeps on add adding more coins to this. Hmm. I'm not as interested in, in that case. This is a pretty competitive minigame. This one can definitely go either way. My plan of attack is to try to avoid taking uh, the hits and then attack them when they uh, go back to get pies because they won't have an opportunity to go for attacking. That worked pretty well. They weren't able to get many hits on us. Mario was pretty much going ham there. Okay. Still focusing on allies here. Surprised no one went for a Luigi up there. Hmm. Thankfully, he misses the hit. A uh, star from that hidden block. There's been quite a bit of star guts from that. It's only one star, but it's still pretty good for whoever gets it, that's for sure. 
So currently, uh, Peach and uh, Donkey Kong are split, but they're not doing quite the way I, I'm doing. While they're going straight for like the event and star only, I'm actually making good use of the split mechanic and making Mario do all this work. Well, I kind of just go around collecting coins and allies and hope for the best. And we, he also got the door key and a star. I think when that opens, it opens for both of us, so. And it's obvious, and I'm not sure if I said this before. Donkey Kong won't necessarily claim that item right away. What'll happen is, instead of him doing that, uh... That's going to remain in his inventory, and then once he unlocks the door, any player can go for it. Oh, I was hoping that would not happen. Well, actually, what am I saying? No one's near it. It'll be fine for me. I'm just saying, because they might come down and claim the allies, but I'm already there anyways. I probably want to use the item right now, though. If I'm focusing on getting allies in the game as early as possible, then I'll want to get them early on to try to go for the ally star. Because I completely forgot that you can go for that straight up. We need some kind of balance going into the team minigames, because if the team, team minigame comes up where we need allies for it, uh, it's going to be very painful for us. So we're going to go ahead and clip collect both of these partners here. That's cool. We're gonna end up getting two allies in one turn. Okay, so this is interesting. So when a, a CPU gets an ally, it doesn't tell you exactly what you're going to get. Instead, what happens is, uh... <clears throat> Ugh. Instead, what happens is, uh, it kind of just stays on the board or whatever and doesn't do its animation, but whenever I pick it up, it tells you, oh, I'm going to get, a." Uh... Okay, so this one's pretty easy, just memory, just gotta select the, memorize the middle one. Though it is kind of tricky. Oh, that one shifted around quite a bit. It was either going to be the right word one or the left word one. Oh, it was all the way around. Unfortunately, that one moved around quite a bit, so... I lost track of it after it shifted twice. That was pretty much a bad pattern. The last time I saw it, it was I was able to get it correctly. That was a little bit trickier of a one. So that one definitely seems like it could be random. I could also just steal ones from the allies, but that would be very inconsistent if I stole some of them from the CPUs, because then they might end up using it. <laughs> Who knows what could happen. Akikon is... Not really going for his uh, big block as much. And what's broken about the allies is even though... Oh, wow. Look at that kind of domination. Well, thankfully they're trying to pass, so... Pass this flop, flop so... Thankfully they don't... Doing anything... I didn't know that they actually changed it a little bit. So not only did they land on the same space, but they stole quite a bit of coins from us. And that block thing, or whatever Mario got, is pretty much useless to him. So I'm gonna, act I'm actually just gonna go straight up for coins. Seeing as how we just lost quite a bit of them. We're gonna go for Rosalina's block for a little bit see if we can get the coins or the eight from it. 
stealing the block just specifically so that Mario doesn't get. Cool, Mario got an exact draw on that because of that, thankfully. That's really nice. Now let's see. Four, three, two, one. I got it. Cool. We got another star, boys. <clears throat> we will be getting stars, but most of the stars will be just on their lonesome for quite a bit. It's not until uh, about the second part of the game where we start potentially changing our strategy up a little bit. I'm glad Mario escaped that because he was getting... He got he just got stumped twice. He needs to get out of there before the opponents consider doing that again. Staying in the lead. Okay. That chick actually worked pretty well. Mario was able to go down to the lower level. And I was able to get the star, and some coins, and two allies, so the allies will help us catch up. Oh wow, Toadette's being really kind today. She went right where I wanted her to go. Now we can go get another star, potentially two. I think just going for the Yoshi Dice Spock will be good, because if we get a seven with it, we have a good chance of getting the star. Okay, toe the line. I like this one. This is really easy to win for the most part. Start. I pretty much go for the back half and Mario goes for the back half. And I just noticed that's a Mario M. That's pretty cool. Completely forgot about that. Never noticed that before. Oh my gosh, Mario, please! He's supposed to go to the right, and he did not go right at all. That was all on Mario's fault. This should be a much more simpler one. See, that time he cooperated. I don't know, it's just with certain patterns, Mario doesn't always cooperate. I'd prefer the are to be a connected pattern because those are way easier to deal with. Because then you just can't constantly go into a circle until he decides one of the until your partner, I mean, decides to cooperate. My bad. Sorry for brilliant out my answers there. Everything's fine. We're about to get two stars, by the way. They may have the starting advantage, but we have the lead right now. And we have a good setup for a second star. If we're gonna get it, we're gonna have to get it pretty quickly here. Let's see. I don't think either of them... Oh, wait. Well, actually, no. Peach is getting it. I think Peach is getting on it. Donkey Kong decided to just... Oh, no. Donkey Kong. I was wrong. Either one of them could have got it. But Donkey Kong decided to go for it while Peach went for an item. I see they've become a little bit of... Bit smart this time. Yeah. We'll have to be very quick if we want to get this star. Because we don't want to give him any chances to get it. So, zero for minus three coins. I'd rather go with my Yoshi block here. I like my Yoshi block a lot because it removes one of the fleas and gives you a seven potentially. But it's kind of risky at the same time. Double twos with my partners. I desperately needed that. Fortunately, I wasn't able to get that, but I can still kind of balance it around. Gonna try to make more use of my surroundings here. I could go for the ally block, but I want to stomp on Donkey Kong once to steal some of his coins and then do this. Cool. I prefer that more than uh, having the coins rain down around me, but that would still be cool depending on the spots they land in. Because if that happens, then Mario will get some um, immediately the moment uh, he gets a chance. We are starting to rack up the stars again. They were doing their best to catch up, but mm, they were able to get it before them. 
But since I set it to 30 turns, the game is not going to be done for quite a while. This particular game is probably going to be the longest game of Super Mario Party anyone's played. What I think is really interesting is this particular option only showed up on this board. I have no clue why it only showed up here, but I have no... I guess that's an interesting challenge. Don't mean the boards will take longer. Yeah, I'm definitely only uh, finishing this board once. If we're finishing it, we better finish it in style. And then my last episode, I guess, will be me just going for... Something else. Thankfully, Mario won that for us. That was the longest I ever survived in that. That one definitely seemed like it lasted a little bit longer. wonder how long that particular game goes on. Thankfully, Mario won that for me. It's really nice of him. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure yet, but this might be the first time in you on YouTube that someone has done uh, 30 turns on this board during their walkthrough. Maybe not. What I'm assuming is most players either do 10, 15, or get used to the 20. I did this pretty much to be different, and also t that's a star for Peach because she needed four for that. Thankfully that's only one star so we could still catch up. Because they are split up. Where's it gonna go this time though? I think if anything we definitely need the capsule tickets so we should probably go for those right away and just straight up land on the shop next. We'll pay some coins for it, but it'll be worth it because we could potentially get a lot of stuff. And this is where or it can potentially be very good because if Mario decides to go for that space up top, I can just keep on landing on that particular square over and over again. She was just there, wow. I'll just roll the Yoshi dice walk and see if I can get there. If I'm able to get there, cool. If not, I will just stay with what I want. I'd rather let Mario use the block thing. And if I'm not able to get the star, I will go backwards or so. And then uh, land on the special item shop so we can get one of those special items. Because it seems like that's very important. Oh wow, neither of us got it anyways. Guess I'm going to be going directly for the shop here. Let's do that. Mario's gonna go for the regular item, which is free. I'm gonna go for the shop. Let's see what happens here. Interesting. That one costs 30 coins. That's very expensive. Goodness, I didn't know it was that expensive. We'll get whatever the cheapest ones are then, so we can get a uh, ticket. We don't want to hold as many of them, so it seems like we should go for one ticket just to have it for fun, and then activate the capsule machine at some point to uh, spin that around. I know that that one costs 30 coins. That could potentially be a nasty trap. 
interesting. Wow, th <laughs> those rivals got removed immediately. So let's get rid of the allies right away. Darn it. I obviously wasn't expecting this game to be figure. <laughs> yeah. That's too bad because me and Ariel's kind of stayed in there for a while. Had that would have happened, I could have just walked out. Lost it on purpose. Because Mario would have gotten his coins anyway. But Mario got removed really early. I didn't work this time. Yeah. I think going for one ticket is good enough. Any more than that, it's just tough. That's probably a star for Donkey Kong. It didn't tell me how much he needed to get to it, though. Okay, probably time to go for Peepas. Ooh, they triggered the secret chomp from Land and Luck. See, why did that remove five coins, and then the other time when I landed on it, it removed like 30 coins? That must be 100% random, or potentially based on your coins, so if you have a lot, don't land on that space or you'll lose a lot. Maybe it's like percent based or something, I still have no clue how that works. Because of it being so long, it's definitely going to be a pretty interesting game. Like, how many capsule tickets do you want to go for? Do you want to go for one, or do you want to go for two? This, this is definitely a board where literally anything can happen. Especially considering the space you need to get to the top of this area of the board is 100% random space. <laughs> Which means half of the time you won't even get there. And you also have to go quite a bit out of your way sometimes, depending on... Where everything is. Okay, so I'm guessing I should just go for the allies. Since Mario's nowhere near the thing, I'll let him use the Peepa ticket thing. Or whatever. And meanwhile, I'm going to use the Dash Mushroom. And potentially change blocks here. Can we go for this one? I'm gonna go... Wow. Interesting. Why... While Luigi's block is slightly favored for high rolls, I'm gonna give this one a shot. Thankfully, Mario's going for the regular one and using the Peepa Bell at the same time. That should remove a lot of their coins. Hopefully, Donkey Kong goes a little bit greedy and decides to get a 10 this time, because then that would remove a lot of their coins right away. Unfortunately, I did not get lucky. Luigi not lucky today at least I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go straight up to the end I don't think there's anything I can do okay nothing really happening in these few turns I think to keep it a little bit interesting, instead of going to the hour mark, I'll go to 40 minutes instead for each episode.
Oh, that was... Barely got that at the end. I'm starting to get better at the minigame just straight up because I started implementing a new strategy where as they're as my partner is dropping off, I randomly popping uh, off the final ingredient, you know, and is about to get a point for us. I go and set it up so that when he goes for the thing or whatever that is. I meant when he finishes the dish. I will. I could potentially immediately get a dish uh, onto the plate almost immediately after. That little bit of advantage allowed us to get that fifth one at the very end. Cool, that worked out perfectly. They're gonna each lose 12 coins. That's what I thought they would do as well. So each one of them is going to get a Tapsle ticket. Goodness, they're making it super greedy. Anybody that passes is going to have to pay 11 coins. Sheesh. I'm definitely not doing that on the bottom. I want to set it very low so that we don't... We save a lot of coins. Okay, so... That actually sapped all of his coins, so now he won't be able to buy anything. Oh, so, okay, it, it randomly changes. No shopping for you, Donkey Kong. That's right. That didn't work. I'm gonna change to the normal block. I mean, I, I was joking. Yoshi block. Let's see if this is better. Mario saved my roll that time. The allies also helped out a little bit there as well. Okay, so... So, use the up button to pay coins there. And Mario's gonna get us an our capsule ticket, cool. Which means... It's pretty clear where I go next. I go for the star, and then I go straight up to that capsule event thing. I need to get to there as fast as possible and use all of our capsule tickets. Because I don't think we can have more than three items, right? <clears throat> this is definitely a new one. I don't remember doing this. Oh, actually, we did do this, but... It's been quite a while since we've done this. I think the last time I did that was about several episodes ago. Wow, we got all the guns there. I'm gonna wait. Goodness. I got all of that right there. Finish. That was a little bit more dominating for me. A new record. Yep, and it was a new record too. It didn't show the record, so... This is new. That's cool. That's on very hard mode, too. CPOs aren't as great as I first thought they were. They don't even have access to that other thing, though. They do have access to the key thing up top. If Peach is smart, he'll go for that, probably. I could potentially go up there and steal his coins that he, he she would about to be get otherwise. Yeah, that's what I thought. So she's going to trigger that, and I'm going to attempt to do a very sneaky move here. We still have quite a bit, not much coins, so I thought it would be nice to try and steal that. I'll need a good roll to get up here, though. The reason that is, is because, as you might have seen here, the it worked just like I thought. Okay... This time, they're just going straight for the lowest amount, because they don't have many coins this time. Random bad luck space! That hasn't happened in a while, and it happened to them, so they're probably going to lose all their coins or star. 
I'd rather have them give an ally, though. Ooh. Raising the cost for a star would have been pretty interesting. Has anybody ever had that happen before? That would change the entire game. <laughs> if a star suddenly became worth 20 coins or whatever. Alright. So we have to go for well. We should go for Waluigi's block again, since it has a very good chance of a five. Yeah, of course it's going to continue to troll me. The allies are going to save the row, and so is Mario as well, but... That definitely penalized my row. I won't be able to take as many coins, but... I still got quite a good amount of them there. I figure since we ran out of coins, we should go for that. So there we go. <laughs> so pretty much Peach did all of that unlocking nonsense for absolutely nothing. She did the unlocking part and then I snuck in and got all of the coins. If you want to unlock that, it seems like you won't want to go for it uh, when a opponent is nearby. That was quick. This one's pretty easy to win for the most part. Okay. So probably going for the... Going for whatever the next space is will be next. So in the next video, we'll probably be attempting to go up to the top and go to the capsule machine and use it twice in a row and see what we get. It was pretty important to stock on up on that early, but I think with all the amounts we can get, if we can make very good use of the capsule machine, we may end up using it a lot. With the ability to get two stars, it's very important that we use that right away. Was I supposed to stop? You know what, to make it more interesting, let's watch them roll. And then I will pause it, just for fun. Oh wow, another random bad luck space. Our tables have turned on our opponents. They're trying to keep up, but um, wow. They had zero coins, I think. Oh wait, no, they had some, but not ten, that's for sure. Is that about to get them both that? Let's see if that double triggers. Nope, it does not double trigger, thankfully, for them. I'm gonna probably change just to regular here. But anyways, leave a like if you enjoyed, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe. What a big twist here. We are certainly in a 30-turn game. This, I believe, is the most turns a Mario Party game can go, at least in this new board. That is until they, like, add a patch or something where they can you can play with 50 turns. That would be absolutely crazy if they brought that back. They probably wouldn't brought that back because uh, when you go back to the party plaza, you lose your progress, I think. I haven't actually checked that, but maybe I'll check whether that happens later. But if I'm correct, I'm pretty sure you have to complete the party in one setting. Otherwise, you have to do it all the way over from the beginning. So this will be pretty interesting. And 30 turns means anyone can obviously win, so I thought it'd be cooler. So anyways, leave a like if you enjoyed, comment, rate, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video where we continue on the Comex Tantalizing Toys for 30 turns, by the way. Until then, leave a like if you enjoyed, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.